Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so well. So I have made a little bit of a pledge to myself to stop buying makeup. So I've decided I'm not allowed to buy any more makeup until I have finished what I already have. Obviously if I run out of a certain product, say all my concealers, then I will go ahead and purchase a new one. But until that, nada. This is all inspired by Emma's Rectangle. She's been doing Project Tempan since last year. This is not quite as structured as Project Tempan. I'm not quite going as far as selecting like 10 products that I have to get through before I can move on to any more. Slightly more relaxed, but I still think it is gonna be a hell of a challenge. So before I started this, I did think it was important to do a little bit of a declutter, just kind of narrow down what I already have because I have so much makeup that is out of date. I have some lipsticks that belonged to my grandma. I've got one pile that would be absolutely inhumane to pass on to anybody else because it, they're just what so what I'm gonna be doing with a lot of that I'm gonna be cleaning them out and taking them to my nearest Terra cycle drop-off point and what they do is they collect and recycle old makeup packaging which I think is such a good incentive and then the second pile I'm actually gonna go ahead and sell on Depop because it is a pile of stuff that I've used maybe once and it's just not for me but it's still perfectly good makeup and I'm gonna be selling them for dirt cheap people because i'm not doing this for the profit i'm literally just doing this because it would be a total waste to throw them away so guys i've actually decided that i'm going to be giving all this away for free on my depop just to make sure that it definitely doesn't go to waste all you would have to pay for is shipping so definitely head over to my depop it is just lizzie caps also if you are interested in my makeup i did film this look right here i'll pop it in the eye and down below for you guys I created this entire look using makeup products that i haven't reached for in seven eight nine months some well over a year so go ahead and check that out as well so if you're interested in this video go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up down below and keep watching so i'll go through what i'm gonna put on depop first because i'm pretty sure that's what some of you guys are the most interested in first being the mua makeup academy light luster illuminator this is a face and body illuminator. You can put in foundations, you can put it straight on your face, you can put it as kind of like a glow on your body. It just wasn't for me, it's not for my skin type, but it is one big tube of product and I've used it maybe twice, three times, so I didn't wanna waste it. So next we have the Benefit Boeing Hydrating Concealer. So I actually picked this up by mistake. I wanted the original Boeing concealer. I didn't actually know they did a hydrating concealer, so I literally just picked up the first concealer I saw and bought it because I thought it was the one I wanted. I'm not really into kind of like stick concealers, but it is basically just kind of like a balm and then it's got the pigment in the middle. And this is in the shade number one so it is the lightest shade next we'll go for another benefit product so this is the benefit cabral this is in the shade three this is actually what i have in my eyebrows at the moment i i'm not much of a pomade girl i'm much more of a pencil girl and i just can't see myself ever reaching for this to be honest the only reason it is in my brows at the moment is because i just filmed that video using makeup that i haven't reached for in months and months next we have the elf flawless finish foundation so this is in the shade suede which as you can see is not my color so i actually bought this for a specific video that i filmed doing showgirl makeup so when you're on stage and you have really really bright white lights coming at you you want a slightly darker foundation so that you don't look like casper the ghost but i will never ever wear this again because it is not my color even when i'm the most tanned i will ever be this will not be my color next we have the b by superdrug makeup setting powder now obviously this is white and that is not my vibe. If you like a super, super bright under eye, then this could be amazing for you, but it is just not for me. I'm much more of a natural makeup kind of gal. Okay, so this is probably the most exciting one that I'm popping on Depop. So this is the KVD Vegan Beauty True Portrait Foundation. Now, if you've seen any reviews, then you might have seen super positive ones about this product. But for me personally, when I reviewed it, I didn't like it. I think I've used this twice. So it is practically a full tube and it retails for £47. So to just throw this away would be such a waste. Okay, now we're moving on to the disgusting grimy stuff that I have in front of me so i have three mascaras look how gross that is it's got like all the glue from the packaging around the outside Ugh. so what i'm gonna do with these i'm actually gonna take out the ones and i'm gonna wash them and i'm gonna use them as spoolies 
have three lipsticks that belonged to my grandma in this collection. So this one is, what brand is this? E.L. Esther Lorde. Damn, Grandma, I didn't know you were so bougie. It's literally just this incredible fuchsia pink color. I do have a couple like this that are in date, so I think this can go. Next, this is a Rimmel lipstick in the shade Asia, which is just a gorgeous muted pink, but again, so out of date. And then this one here says Autograph on it, which I thought was a like Primark brand and it is just this kind of beautiful bright coral color so i have two concealers right here that i'm going to be recycling so i have the maybelline instant age eraser which as you can see i mean still a little bit of product left but i genuinely can't rem remember buying either of these so i would be afraid to use that anywhere near my eyeballs this is the elf maximum coverage concealer i don't actually remember ever using this so i have four of these stay matte liquid lip colors I was obsessed with these, hence why I have four of them. This is my go-to red lipstick, but it only occurred to me last time I used it, which wasn't too long ago, that it's probably quite disgusting that I'm still using it. <laughs> so I had two nudes, a more pinky nude, which was called blush, and then a more orangey nude, which was called Be My Baby. I had this incredible bright coral color, which is called Coral Sass, and then this red was called fire starter so if they still actually do these i recommend all of these colors because they were incredible but they're just old so old come on in then you're coming in here you've got to be quiet because i'm filming that's not quiet okay so i have two more liquid lips i have the nyx liquid suede and then the l'oreal paris lip paint matte now i'm pretty sure there's actually something missing from the end of this, that's how old this is. I also have the Benefit Roller Liner. I had a, I wanna say love-hate relationship, but it pretty much turned into a hate relationship. I didn't get on with this liner at all. I found it dry and not smooth to work with. Maybe I got a dud because I've heard so many people rave about it, but it just, we were far from best friends, me and this liner. So I think this is the only product in this collection that I've actually finished. So this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. So this is just kind of like a colored brow pigment. It is dried up. I thought this product was really, really good and I can definitely recommend it, but I am absolutely in love with the brow products I'm using now, so goodbye elf wow wow so the last three products do actually make me chuckle a little bit because pretty sure i got these when i was a child so these two lip glosses literally have all the writing rubbed off of them and then this one this genuinely reminds me of something that you might get in like a party bag from a like seven year old's birthday party this i think is so oh my gosh it says 2004 on the back <laughs> oh dear that that is that's dire this would be lethal to use now that's disgusting and they are all the makeup products that i'm either going to be giving away or recycling i'm going to be cleaning out as many of those products as i can and taking the packaging to i think boots do it tesco do it Superdrug potentially all have territory terra cycle drop off points so that is going to be the next job on my agenda if if they're actually doing it at the moment because obviously there's a global pandemic going on i don't know if you know but at some point in the near future i will be trying to do that and also popping all those products i mentioned at the beginning on my depop as well which is just lizzie caps if you're interested in getting any of them if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon for another video